Well, I'm home early and the sun's still shining. Um, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to test out my steam whistle after giving it a clean out, see if it works. And while I'm doing that, I thought I'd go through and show you how to prepare a roundhouse KT for steaming. Now the first thing we do, remove the safety valve cover and then unscrew the safety valve. That's on my safe. We pump in some water. This is water from a condensing tumble dryer which I've put through a water filter using a pump bottle off screen. Just prefer to use these, less messy than a funnel. So we fill the boiler right to the top. So we are nearly there. Boiler is now full, and we get the syringe supplied by Roundhouse. And I'm going to take out 30 millilitres of water. So hopefully, you can see this on camera. So there's about 30 millilitres taken out, that creates space for the steam. So now we place the safety valve. Now we've done the safety valve. And the water, we can put the gas in. So if I turn the locomotive around, make sure the valve is off. Yes, it is. And then we're gonna be filling it with butane gas with the special adapter and then if you can see the turn it around a bit more you might be able to see the gas tank I'm gonna be filling it up from there so it's a bit hard to film this and fill up the locomotive but here we go so pressing and holding So you can hear that going into the tank and then when it's full it'll start jetting out there we go that's the gas and the water in and while we've got the uh, roof off, we'll just make sure it's in mid gear and the regulator is down. Just close that roof back up again. Now we can start lubricating round. So the lubrication oil is just standard motor oil. I'm using mineral motor oil. It's, it's uh, classic car oil. Use synthetic oil. I, I like quite like this mineral oil. It's a little bit thicker. So I'm going around all the moving parts. Well, not to absolutely soak it in oil, but obviously you want enough to keep it lubricated while it's running. So all the new moving parts around here. And back in there, back in there, and anything else, get on the slide bars. Get on them again, make sure. A bit on these fish rods here. locomotive round and see you doing the other side. Put on there, put on there. And 
anything that moves, put some oil on. Try not to drown it in oil because it will get gunked up with dust and debris from running outside. So I think I am nearly there with the external lubrication. And turn it around again and then put some steam oil in which is in this displacement lubricator. And this displacement lubricator works by letting a small amount of steam in, which then condenses, sinks to the bottom, and pushes the oil up and then back through the hole where the steam's come from, and then that lubricates the cylinders. So that's needs a little bit more in there. all the bubbles have come out. It's quite thick steam oil. It's 220 grade steam oil, which is the thickness that Roundhouse recommends. So I screw that back on. Just finger tight. Don't need to do it over tight. So then I can now get my test bed with the Roundhouse rolling road units. Place it on there. Make sure it's on there. Right. Now it's on there. I can light the gas with a kitchen lighter. I'm going to light it from underneath. It's a bit windy so hopefully I can light it successfully so turn the gas on a little bit and then lit it at the back of the smoke box which is open can light it up here but I've got a summoner's chuffer and that takes up quite a lot of space inside the chimney so it takes a while for the gas to get up there I want to crank it right up at first let's have it about there all right, now we have about 30 psi on the gauge. I'm going to try it in forward gear. Now there will be a, some condensation in the cylinders because the hot steam is entering the cylinders and then condensating back into water. So it might take a little while to start turning. Sometimes I put it into forward or reverse and then open up the regulator, get it to turn a little bit and then try the other direction. That's mid gear, so if I put it into reverse, there we go. You can see there's a load of condensate come out of the exhaust there. And there we go. Reverse, put in forward gear. There we go. Lovely. Try the whistle. Take a few presses to clear out of concentrated water and warm up. Mm. There'll be a blockage in there. So I might have to take that apart again. So that's a bit disappointing, but never mind. So I'll leave this running for a bit. Oops. Oops. Put the steam, uh, steam going back on. There we go. And I'll leave it running for a bit. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again.